definitely happened. Okay. Yeah, 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 it definitely happened. It's on the record book. Yeah, kick men are a big part of the team, by the way. Oh, for sure. Mm. We didn't go out there and kick a ball. <laughs> still, though. Yeah. Still. I appreciate that. No worries. <laughs> it's good for you. So, just before the whistle, they'll all, like, both sets of fans will light a load of flares before the game, right as it's about to start, so then the whole thing's covered in smoke. The match gets delayed for like 30 minutes. I can't believe it. He's <laughs> absolutely. Pick how many numbers are. <laughs> <laughs> So welcome back to Life for Kitman. Today we're joined by Aaron Drynan and Zach Elbuzetti. Good is that, pronunciation. Is that good? Yeah. Yes, well, I knew it. Um, as always, we're going to go into five aside, but because we've got two guests, we're going to do one now and do one a little bit later. So we'll go with Aaron Let's do first. This. Cheers, yeah. Zach. There's your pen. Oh, he's hidden himself. See. That's how he did it. Do you want to see me face? <laughs> well, I mean, ideally. There we go. Right. There he is. Hello, <laughs> Right, come on. Keeper, then. I'm going Lawrence Vigaru. Yeah, just right, Vigs. It's much easier. Yeah. Um, Boy. Played with him at Orient. Orient. For two years, got promoted with him. Unbelievable yeah. keeper. Yeah, class. Unbelievable lad, so he goes straight in there. Defender, Luke Wolfenden. Um, was with him for a couple of years. At, just put Wolfie. Yeah, I was going to start <laughs> be looking, be looking up and down. Uh, Ipswich for a couple of years. Um, unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, and I know he was here as well, as yeah. was Viggs. Yeah, go on. Uh, two midfielders, I'm going Darren Prattley. Um, obviously, I was with him at Leighton Orient. And I just want to sing a song when I hear you write it. He's, um, <laughs> yeah, he's done it all. I think he's only one of the few. He's got, he's got promoted from every division, I think. I think you might be right. I think. Yeah. So, Incredible. Um, he goes in there. Um, Twiney goes in there. What a boy. Um, Zach's buzzing with that. We were with him. <laughs> <laughs> um, now we were both with him at Waterford, um, only for a short spell, but um, yeah, he's yeah, gone on to do unbelievable. He's good on five hours, wasn't he? Yeah, he technically a joke. joke. Yeah. Um, and up through the middle, even though currently he's playing wing back, I've seen him float everywhere. So is uh, Chadol Zagbene, he's playing with Luton at the minute. Yeah. Um, and he's absolutely flying, fastest man I've met. So what a team. He goes in there and I'm on the bench. Zach is on the bench. Yeah, it was a close call. He'll come on. First call, yeah. yeah. Oh, gaffer. Gaffer, where's John that? Anywhere you want. Uh, gaffer, I will go with Richie Wellens. So shock. Yeah. <laughs> got promoted with him. So um, yeah, he used to go in there, and I know yeah, he was here as well. So. Yeah. yeah, he's the hero. Um, um, doesn't look too bad, to be honest. Yeah. In a kit that your team would play in. From the kids one that I've played, that I've yeah. played in. Your favourite one? Or one um, that's got some memories? I'll probably put us in um, an Ireland kit, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, green and white. Nice. Mm, the lads will be happy about that, I think. There you go. Uh, Jonah, got any questions about them? Just, yeah, obviously quite a few links there. Yeah. Um, Vigs that year, obviously he got promoted. How was it? He was unbelievable, wasn't it? <laughs> Best keeper in the league. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, team of the year. Got us moved to the Premier League. Yeah. That probably says it all, really, for getting yeah. moved to the Premier League yeah. from League yeah. Two. Yeah. Two. Um, but yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. So composed, the saves he's pulled off. Um, big moments. He came up to it, so yeah, yeah. unbelievable. His distribution's ridiculous as well. Sure. Like, the way he just can zing it out, ridiculous. And obviously, we spoke to Richie about it since he was here. He's saying that how much he's matured and stuff like that, so it's good to see that he's he kicked on since he was here. We need to get him on the pod. Yeah, we need him on. <laughs> He'd love that, um, hasn't he? <laughs> obviously, we had Wolfie as well, who was on loan from Ipswich. Yeah. He was, yeah, he obviously he was playing, young, wasn't he? It was when we first started. Doing yeah, it, so he's I'm obviously sure. playing champ now, so that sort of speaks for itself as well. What I want to know is, what, what's Prattley like? As a player? As a, yeah, as a, a bit, bit of both, because we, um, we've always obviously played him as an opposition. Mm -hmm. He's always one of the main... He looks like a leader, proper leader. That's exactly what I was going to say. Probably the best captain I've played with. Um, leads by example. Um, I suppose he's always there when you need him, but on the pitch, yeah. off the pitch. Um, and the player that he is and the career that he's had has been unbelievable. Yeah. Um, obviously got to the Prem as well. So yeah. 
Um, and then the rest of his career, I think, was high end championships. So, um, still going now. And he's still going now. I, I, keep on, I keep on hearing Orient fans sing a song, something like Five More Years or something like that. So <laughs> Every week it gets higher yeah. and higher. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's obviously still um, still going strong there, which is, which is good to see. Yeah. And obviously, Twiney, another one that we had here, he's kicked on massively since obviously you were with him at Waterford. Yeah. Um, how was he when you were with him at Waterford? Um, to be fair, he wasn't. Then he actually probably wasn't in the team mm. as much at Waterford as like if you look back now you're probably thinking like oh my god he was probably doing it then as well yeah. what he done yeah, in he England but he was um, Zach kept him out of the team so mm. um, but you could tell just like how technically yeah. he was and the strike off a ball is probably second to none yeah yeah um, so quality in training never yeah, seen yeah, training every everything day. it's a joke never yeah. seen like a technique like it with the free There's kicks no and stuff like that. That. And, he and he's been on the pod so that yeah. makes him even better yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He practiced every day, so. But yeah, and obviously yeah. he's he's gone on um, to the Premier League as well with Viggs, and he yeah. so yeah. Um, not a great player. Yeah, good team. I like it. And then I'll touch on Shadows because he's a Cork man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was with him at Cork City um, with Conor Mack as well, yeah. um, and obviously he's playing in the Premier League now, and he's he's doing really really good. Um, got his own little three minute piece. On Monday Night Football there like two weeks ago, um, but now he's absolutely flying as well, fastest man ever. And yeah. um, Richie, we'll, we'll come on to that later when we speak about your time at Orient, we'll, um, we'll give him a bit of a bigger bit. Yeah, yeah. no worries. <laughs> we'll come back on to it. Well, class, Zach, can I have my ball back? Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Unbelievable 5 okay, team. Well done. It's not bad. I'm going to have to do some rubbing out in a bit. <laughs> so, yeah, um, you're both here now. Uh, how did the moves come about? Let's we'll start with Zach. Let's hear from Zach. Uh, what happened? Where was the? Basically, I, was, oh, I haven't played at AOK for a long time. You know, the Neil Gaffer came in and didn't fancy me. Uh, Tell me I wasn't going to play or anything, and I just wanted to play get football. And uh, Gavin, Gavin, Jamie got in contact with me um, a few days before I came over, and just from from speaking to Gav and the way. He wanted to play the game. I think you can see in, in in the few games that we've had the way he wants to play. It's an attractive brand of football, and uh, just the enthusiasm he had and the way he believed me and the way he wanted me to play. It seemed like a, an attractive option, and just to come here and play games. And since I've come in here, like even, not even Gab, but just the boys and all, it's been it's been deadly to come in. It's a good change room. I'm um, back by my side. <laughs> You're back with myself. <laughs> uh, it's it's going to be fun. <laughs> nah, but it was, to be honest, it's been, it's been deadly since we've come in and now the, the results haven't been that good, but the performances have been good and I feel like the change room has made everyone feel welcome and it feels like we've been here for a while, doesn't it? Mm. Um, with me, it was obviously pretty happened on the last day. Um, but when Gav came in, he obviously inquired initially. Yeah. Um, I think he spoke to Richie and then... Um, I think it was a no at that time, um, and then the yeah, last last day of the window. Then obviously there was just phone calls going around, um, and yeah, here I am. Apart from me beating you at pool on the first morning when you joined, I don't think that was me. <laughs> I, <can't laughs> I think it was me. No, it wasn't me. Oh, it, it wasn't it, me. I'm, it, I'm, 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 sure, I'm pretty sure it was you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it was me. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so how have you I found? I can it? confirm it was you. Yeah, it was you. <laughs> So how have you found like the first two weeks? Obviously, you said the change room's been good. Mm, like, yeah, have you yeah. found like the the stadium and stuff like that? No, look, like, we've only had one game at yeah. home, but the atmosphere was deadly and we battered Salford. I don't know how we didn't win yeah. that mm. game. Um, but now it's been brilliant. It feels like I've said this to other people. It feels like I've been here for a long time. Mm. It's just like settled in very fast, and like I said, the the change room was very easy to get into. Everyone's been welcoming. Um, and yeah, the performances have been pretty good, so it's been it's been easy to, to sort of feel here, yeah. feel like we're here. Um, but I think we've been unlucky as well. Yeah, definitely. I think we've battered some teams the last mm -hmm. few games, but I think hopefully it's going to come soon. Yeah, almost for us, it sort of felt like we were saying a couple of days ago that it feels like it's a start of a new season. Because yeah. obviously we had nine players join um, in January. Quite a lot of them were quite late on as well. So it sort of feels like we're starting again in a way. Yeah. Um, so it's a shame that it's not sort of the start of a season. Yeah. We said the stuff um, like that yeah, takes exactly. a bit of time yeah. as well, do you know what I mean? We've, we've had it happen a couple of times in January where it's sort of split in two halves. Yeah. Um, 
but it's been positive to be fair the, the three games that everyone's been involved in so I think it's, I think we should have 12 points from the last yeah. four games but sometimes football that's how, works yeah, that's in funny ways yeah. doesn't it it's a funny old game yeah. there's still a lot of points to pick from yeah. so. 100% still possible, yeah. 100%. Still possible to get up there but we need to win the next few games yeah yeah, and it was so close the other night. Yeah, so close. Yeah. Right? But I think it was good reaction from from oh, the boys to come back. It takes uh, it's not easy when you're dominating games no. and then you get a bit of a sucker punch to go two one down late on. So it's good character from yeah, the lads did. to come That's back. That's what you know? we had said. It it shows some character because earlier on in the season, we probably lose that game three one. Yeah. I think yeah. it tells a lot about a team as well. I think. Yeah. Especially like for trying to. When so you're probably in need of results, you know what I mean? And like, we probably could have just said, oh, fucking hell, here we go again. Yeah. Shells um, all the boys out together. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I literally said to you, probably about five, when the added time come, we, we just walked around, I was like, there's no chance we're scoring a last minute goal here because yeah. I can't remember the last time we scored one. Yeah. Obviously, you proved me wrong. Um, yeah. We had the corner yeah. and we were like, oh, let's just wait. Let's yeah. just see what's going to happen. Have a bit more faith. Yeah. And I. Uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah. we're just going off the last five years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'll tell you what, there was a good season in there where we did have all of that kind of yeah. stuff and we ended up going up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Should we jump straight into Aaron's five side now? Let's go for it. No, no, that sorry. To Zach's five side now. We sorry, now. Aaron. I thought we were going through it again. Yeah. <sighs> this is tough to rub out. Got it. There's your board. There's your Are you pen. holding it? I'll lift it up. Yeah, we'll put it there. So, there you go. Goalkeeper's difficult. We played with a few good ones. Um, it's between Cuevy and Kelleher, who's at Liverpool. Yeah, we've um, had him a few yeah, times, haven't we? we have, he's, yeah. he's very good, but then uh, Kaya played with one of the Sweden national team keepers. Right. And he pulled off some ridiculous saves. Um, yeah. Stick with Irish, don't you, no? I don't know. This fella's unbelievable. He's a joke. Got he's torn, time. he's torn. I'll I'll go, do, I'll go do with, the other ones and come back <laughs> to the keepers. <laughs> I've never with, had that before. I'll go with Kribba. Christopher Nordfeld. He's unbelievable. At the back, uh, Mikael Lustig from Celtic. Yeah. You can change the formation if you want as well. You can have... I, know, I know. No, the formation suit might be. He knows where he is. Uh, yeah, I played with him at AOK and he's had an unbelievable career. Yeah. Uh, another one, Sebastian Larson. <laughs> big name. It's a big name. Drop Did that you one play with him or give him a bit? No, no, I played with him. Okay. Two, two full right. seasons with him. Um, <laughs> the next one. I'll stick uh, Burst and Selena in there. Um, yeah, I was with him at Ipswich as well. People probably know yeah. him from Ipswich. Yeah. His, his technique is unbelievable. Then up front, <coughs> it's tough. No, it's, don't even give me that. It's tough because the player on Doyle, who was unbelievable oh, as well. Um, but this fella's gone on to have some career, so I'll go with Brennan Johnson. Yeah, mental. Was that link in you with it? Yeah, he kept me out of the team, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, some team, though, isn't it? It's decent. I think I'm, think I'm destroying it, though. Nah, Seb Larson wants 30 and K again. My team's too powerful, I think. Nah. Mm. Technique, technique. Yeah, this would be dead, quite... dead balls. <laughs> Class on the ball. It's, um, it does, they would just be running in behind for that. He has the brain, don't he? No. He wouldn't get in a pace battle with him. Nah, I think. Uh, Gaffer. Rennie? I could stick <laughs> Rennie in then. He was cool. <laughs> he he was, yeah. Um, Gaffer. Go for me old AOK gaffer. Bartos Grelick. I don't know how to spell it. I'll just write Bartos. Yeah. He was the one who brought me there, so he gave me the chance. Okay. We both said that as it in sync then. Uh, AOK will have nice kits. I don't know if you've seen it. The AOK pre season cup kit in 2022. Oh, this is something we want to talk about in a minute. It's the best yeah. kit, it's the yeah. nicest kit I've ever seen in my life. If you can get a picture of it up, it's a joke. We'll get a picture. Very lovely. 
cup kit from pre-season. No, we they played a cup in pre-season over there, so yeah. they got special edition kits. Yeah, that's something. Yeah, so we were very, looking earlier at the seasons out there, and we were like, very, very nice. This kit. is a bit weird. Very nice. Um, well, what a team? Yeah, we need one of those shirts. Yeah. Mm. yeah, we need a I'll try, shirt. I'll try, I'll try thought. Mm. What team? Yeah, that's a, what. Whose team do you think would win that? Mine. I know you were just a painter then. I didn't really. Yeah, I didn't really think about it then, but it'd be quite interesting to see. He has like eight SPL, played Champions League. Yeah. I think he's third, third most free kick goals in Premier League history. <laughs> yeah. He's Sweden's record cap holder. He's got like ninety caps for Sweden. They'll just get a shot again. And caps don't matter though. On the five side. quality. On the five side, no. <laughs> he's just gonna run your defence. No, nah, Wolfie hasn't made time. Nah. No free kicks on a five side as well. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Still win. And this fella's a joke. It'll just be not making your whole team. Mm, don't think so. Be him and Twiny up against each other. You can have a vote. Yeah, well, you have, you few, you have a few X wins and people in there that are going to vote. <laughs> yeah, we'll we, we do a little poll actually, I think. I think yeah, we'll, do a little, yeah we'll do a little poll. Yeah, we'll do it. And, um, Go we'll for let, it. Yeah, we'll let the people decide rather than you two argue. Yeah, yeah but mm. Swindon fans are going to vote for Swindon players, aren't they? <laughs> uh, not necessarily. We'll sit. We'll sit. Not necessarily. But yeah, what a team. Thank There's you. Two incredible teams. The last good marker thing. Oh, the lid. The lid. Nah, that's all right. Get out. We'll let it die. <laughs> it's fine. So, something we've all done. I mean, us as kit men, you as players, which means we contribute very little, is get promoted from League Two. Um, so, we did it when the season was finished. So, some people tell us that it didn't really happen. Definitely happened. Okay. Yeah, 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 it definitely happened. It's on the record book. Yeah, kick, kick men are a big part of the team, by the way. Oh, for sure. Mm. We didn't go out there and kick a ball. <laughs> Still, though. Yeah. Yeah. Still. No, I appreciate that. No worries. <laughs> it's good for you. Um, yeah, so we had it then. Then the next year, two of our best players went and joined you at Bolton. Yeah. And then you I joined, I joined them. Oh, okay. Yeah, you joined, yeah. They were already there. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. You joined, did you join in the Jan? Did I joined in Jan. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, and that was with no fans. No fun. So that's another weird experience. And I feel like the only one that's done it properly is Aaron, with his fans and in the stadium with trophy yeah. and all the rest of it. Yeah. But we've all done it. Yeah, it mm -hmm. all counts. It all counts. 100%. On Wikipedia, it yeah. doesn't say if you had fans. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, ours has little asterisks next to it. Does it? it? Says, you know, Does it actually? Yeah. PPG. Uh, oh, well. Points per game, everything else. But. But at the Still end of the day, promotion's a pro promotion, and not many. Some players can go a whole career without getting promoted. Yeah. Obviously, you two, are, you're both 25. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. So you've achieved that fairly early on. We've only been in the job five years, and obviously, we had one in yeah. our second year, which is probably yeah. quite rare. Yeah. Um, first of all, you. How was it without fans playing that season? And then, yeah. cause was it at Crawley you got promoted? Yeah, it was the last game of the season. Yeah. At Crawley. Uh, it was mad. It was to be fair, like. I only played a small part to be honest, um, but when I joined Bolton I think we were we were near the relegation zone mm. um, and I think to be honest having no fans in probably helped a little bit because we had a few results after that that would have been a bit ropey you know yeah. um, and then obviously there was there was sort of no pressure on us and then I think we went 14 or 15 games on the what it was? Yeah it was something unbelievable, I think we went from like 19 directly to automatic promotion. Yeah. Um, in half a season, um, but like I said, I, I only played a small part because I didn't do very good when I was there. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just, it was unbelievable to be a part of. And like you said, there was no fans there. But we went away to Crawley on the the last game of the season, and yeah. I think loads of Bolton fans just drove down. Yeah, I remember seeing and videos. They were waiting outside the stadium. So like, when we when the whistle went, we just sprinted out to the state outside the stadium to yeah. them, and then we drove back to Bolton, and then waiting outside the stadium, there was like three or four thousand Bolton yeah. fans, so we got to celebrate a bit with them, um, but now it was just a, it was a bit crazy, I don't know if it would be done again from mm. the position that we were in to, to where we that were. That is pretty mental to yeah. be fair, but that night you were just talking about, I remember that, we had Wigan, obviously we were League One, so we played on the, must have been the Sunday, yeah. um, and we were driving up, we stayed the night before up by Wigan, 
And um, yeah, we just remember seeing the videos of Doyle and Izzy, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And um, we were going yeah, we, we, to be fair, we, we were up in Manchester, so we were going to like just come to the stadium. Yeah. We didn't in the end. But, nah, it was mental, it was. Yeah, like, still looked pretty mad. Obviously, Doyle, the fact that all the fans come out and stuff yeah, like that. Doyle and Izzy were right in the middle, as well. Yeah, they, they loved it, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they love it, yeah. Back to back promotions yeah, for them. Yeah, so. Was it? Yeah, they obviously done it the year before with us. Oh, yeah. Some gone, that's just double promotion. And what did Dolores score that year with you guys? Like it wasn't as much. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. as much as when he was no, here, but it was still like. He scored twenty five for us. I think he scored. Well, it was definitely over fifteen goals. Yeah, I think it was um, about sixteen. I think. But he's some finisher. Incredible, finish. isn't he? and he's like such a good lad as well. Yeah. So yeah. like when he's doing never well, leader. When he's doing well, like everyone's happy to see he's doing well. You know, he's yeah. one of the good guys in football. Mm -hmm. Um. The old same parts. Yeah. No. Yeah, he's retired now. Yeah, he's retired now. Is he? He's retired yeah. now. But um, no, it was crazy. Yeah. And Aaron, how, how, did, how did you find the promotion in the year? Yeah, unbelievable. We were yeah. top for nearly the whole thing, I yeah. think, by a couple of like, weeks here yeah. and there. But other than that, like, just um, probably adds a bit more pressure to be fair if you're like, top a, the yeah. whole there time. There's a couple of steep. Yeah, there's a couple of Chasing, chasing, chasing. Um, but now it was unbelievable, obviously. We experienced it like fully, do you know what I mean, with the the fans and stuff yeah. like that. So, um, obviously, I would have liked to play it even more part in it. Had a couple of injuries, but um, nonetheless, the experience was absolutely yeah. unbelievable. As yeah. you said, not many people probably win trophies in their career, so yeah. um, that was nice. Yeah, obviously, we we obviously played you twice. The time out here, I think it was fairly early. It might have been the end of August, start of September. It was a Tuesday night and. I think we drew one all. Yeah, we drew one all and we drew at your place as well, actually. But we were just like, these are a joke. Yeah, we, we were a very good team. Yeah. Um, good footballing team. Yeah. Um, obviously, I think obviously that's what got us promoted. I think yeah. we just stopped to just playing football, football. Yeah. Um, and the changing room was unbelievable. Yeah. It's probably the best changing room that I've been in. Um, and obviously, when a changing room is together and as close as that, Ouch, it's yeah. tough to beat. Yeah. I mean, you, you looked and you played very similar to how we did when Richie was our gaffer and yeah. took us up. And speaking to him when we were at your place, he was like, "It's so similar. The group's so similar. Yeah. Everything. Everyone's together. Everyone's pulling in the same direction." Mm. And like, he could just feel it. You could tell he mm. knew you were gonna you were gonna do it because he had seen it before. Basically. Yeah, I, th I think we knew that kind of early on ish kind of yeah. that we could achieve something. Just as you said there, when like the whole club is just looking to go in one direction, it's, yeah. as I said, it's tough to um, it's tough yeah. to beat. You scored a handful of goals as well. Didn't, did I see it was sixteen? That was in my first year. Oh, that was the first year. Mm -hmm. That was yeah, my first year. Yeah, sixteen. Having a good group so important though, isn't it? Yeah, massively important. It makes massively such a big important. difference. Even if the teams like. Not so good. If you have yeah. a good group, it can carry a trail. Yeah, yeah. That's what we've seen as yeah. well. To Especially be fair. those tough evenings, like the other night. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. If you've got a proper group, you get through that. And yeah. You get a point. There was a game there. I was at Stevenage at home. Yeah. We hadn't had the best run in that season where we went up, and it was the Tuesday night. We were, were we losing. Probably. Yeah. We, we probably. Down, I know it was nil nil. We had probably gone four or five games without a win. Yeah. And Doyle scored last minute, and yeah. that just changed the season. Yeah, yeah. You just yeah. need one moment yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with a group of people to galvanise, and you're yeah. flying that. So I think, you know, like if you go, as you said there, like under those four or five games yeah. without a win, obviously there's going to be outside yeah. noise, isn't there? You just need um, a bit of like Obviously, everyone giving everybody sticks, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's where the group and kind of like where Pratt's like our captain and stuff like that, like they can kind of just keep the group together mm -hmm. yeah. and just keep going in that direction, kind of don't listen to no outside noise, it's all about what's in the changing room. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sure. And that's ultimately, I suppose, what got us promoted, I think. People was massive in football as well, because you could have eight to ten really good players, yeah. but they might not be the right people. Yeah. So it's not all, you might have 15, 16 players that are a good ability, but that are proper good people, yeah. mm -hmm. and that makes a difference. We've had seasons where we've had good players, but they just not yeah. maybe got on in a sense. Yeah. So one or two yeah. bad eggs as well can bring yeah. the whole group down. So yeah. That's what I mean. If you have if you have a good strong group, even if you're not the best team, you can yeah. still yeah. come no, through it. I agree. I agree.
So obviously you two were at Waterford together. Yeah. That's where you two. Is that where you two obviously first met? We lived together. We did. Really? Yeah, mm. yeah. I think we met on an Ireland camp before that. Just before and yeah. Because uh, you could tell. Oh no, yeah. sorry, no. You he was away with Ireland, and I think uh, Rennie, who's the man, or he was the manager then. I think he messaged you. I think. Yeah, he did. I I've got you a few now. <laughs> uh, yeah, he messaged me asking what he was like. Nah. I said, yeah. <laughs> didn't listen to him. Uh, no, then we lived together for a few, few months. That's, uh, that's where the, the brown man. Yeah, you could tell yeah. as soon as obviously yeah. you both. We didn't know actually. Um, well, we put you pretty close together in the yeah. change rooms, but you could tell as soon as you two come in that you were obviously quite close. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's good. We have like similar banter, yeah. similar morals. Oh, a bit better banter than Who's funny? <laughs> Me. He's not. <laughs> I love a He's not. I'm not. We're gonna have a few mate. polls, didn't we? Um, yeah. How did you find? Obviously, obviously, you're both Irish, but how did you find the league? The league over there. Um, when we were there, it was it's on the it was kind of like okay. on the way on the yeah. rise, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. it's definitely a lot, lot better, a lot mm. more competitive, um, and I think the this season. So of all the teams that you want in there, bar one, mm. um, are in the league, you know, to make it as competitive as possible. Yeah. Um, but we were there, it was, still, it was still good, you know what I mean? Yeah, we had a good group as well. Mm -hmm. Like the, the problem we had there was the first half of the season, we were really good. Um, I think we were challenging for Europe and that, and then we had a lot of lone players. So like lone finished. Troy and I was doing, Toyny was doing. Yeah. And then like half the group ended up leaving and then we didn't get like the same quality yeah. of players to come in and that's why it dropped but it was yeah. when, when you were there and when we were like together it was really enjoyable yeah. mm -hmm. it was good for like for me it was good because i just come back from scotland to play games and i had yeah. the manager that believed in me and get your confidence back that sort of way and mm. um, but now the quality i think has got even better to getting more fun than on that yeah. as well there's a lot of, there's a lot of more players from england i think coming out going over yeah. there as well to yeah. play i mean there's a lot of loans going over there um just because it would be, it is a good experience, yeah. you know what I mean? Different, um, different country, different type of football yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, um, and so, yeah. as well, it's like, they don't, they don't take it, like, it's professional, but they don't take it too serious mm. as well, so you can just go and enjoy your football yeah. and sort of yeah. fall back in love with football, Get keep falling out of love with it a bit. Yeah. Um, so it's good, especially for like young players, or like I said, people who've fallen out of love with the game a little yeah. bit. And obviously you've both, I didn't know, but when we were doing our research this morning, you've obviously both played in Sweden. We knew because obviously you've come on loan from yeah. AIK. And obviously you've played in Sweden as well. So just what was the, the league like there? Like how, how did you both find, find it in Sweden? Uh, mine was only in brief. It was, a, it was yeah. a bit of a weird one. I think there was some, um, some contact like over here. Uh, obviously had a contact over in Geis, was the club I was in in Gothenburg. Um, I'm glad you said that because we had no idea how to pronounce it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I said Geis. Did you? Oh. Um, they, oh, they, oh, they, they actually got, they actually <laughs> got promoted. <laughs> no, they did. Yeah, they're, they're in the top division now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they got promoted yeah, last yeah. year. Um, and then I think that fella then obviously just tried to contact someone mm. at Ipswich. Um, just saying, like, would anyone be interested in going over and stuff like that? Like, and to be fair, I'd, I'd, probably, I'd go anywhere really. Mm. Um, so me and another lad went over there for like a week before and just to see what it was like and stuff like yeah. that and obviously i ended up staying there for it wasn't that long so eight games or something I yeah think. it was it was really really brief which is kind of like a weird one um it's an experience but, though isn't it? yeah we played in it was a good experience playing in their derby um yeah. i think it was about 20 25 thousand there and obviously um European fans are absolutely mad. It's just Amazing. all like flares and belly clavers and all that. Like just different, arriving yeah. beforehand, they're all just out like, in the streets and stuff like that. So, um, no, it was short, but um, very good. Yeah. yeah, I know you would. You said this morning uh, about your derbies. Yeah, and what they were. Nah, just we like, were having a look. Like he said, the support yeah. culture out there is like, different yeah. level. Like even I was similar to him. I went out a week before just to have a look at the club yeah. and trying with the boys and that and uh, I think it was the Friday before they were playing a game I think like 3,000 supporters have come out to watch train and they're lighting the flares and all <laughs> and they had to like hide me I was hiding in the club just like watching it yeah. um, and then from there like I was like oh my god this is unbelievable and then like he said the derby games like I think 
Aik and New Gardens the biggest the biggest derby in Sweden. So for our derby games, are getting over forty five thousand people yes, there, man. and it's proper like hatred. Yeah, hate well, we've seen we've seen a video earlier. Yeah, we watched it. The, in the whole park. thing behind the goal it was just flares. Was flares, yeah, smoke. It was crazy. It's, it's, it's deadly the way they do it as well. Like they have the supporters will speak to each other. So just before the whistle, they'll all like both sets of fans are like a load of flares before the game, right, right as it's about to start. So then. The whole thing's covered in smoke. The match gets delayed for like 30 minutes. But it's like some spectacle to watch, you know? And they all oh, do yeah. like the TIFOs and everything yeah, else. Yeah. So it's a uh, it's different level, to be honest. Like the the way they support the teams out there is crazy. And are the games really spicy? Yeah, derby games are very yeah. spicy, yeah. They're yeah, very <laughs> it, spicy. To be it's fair, made me want to go out and watch, watch the game, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, like, you go and go experience out, it. Our friends are in, if you can go watch AOK, U Gordon, it's deadly. And we never lose at home either yeah. against U Gordon. So. Yeah. It's a, it's a good one. How did it? We were, we were having a look. We were just looking at the league table and that, and still confused now. So, how did the league, the seasons of the league work? Is they're, it? They're, le- they're in pre season now. Yeah, um, I thought that's what yeah, So, we in, in April, the league will start um, and it'll go till November. Middle of November. It's yeah. the same as the League of Ireland season, yeah. Yeah. Irish seasons like that as well. Yeah. Is that just because it's how cold it is? or? Yeah, they, they have. Uh, they can't play on the grass until like April time, so they'll play the cup now. Yeah. But it will be all on artificial pitches and like smaller stadiums yeah. and that. Um, it could be seen that they had been playing games like recently. Yeah, just... that's all. Like when I came here, um, I was in pre-season because yeah. they've they're still in pre-season. Yeah, that's what we thought. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. But now it's uh, the cup there isn't as big as as it is over here. Like you know, like the FA Cup is mm-hmm. the big spectacle yeah. here. Over there, it's not so big. Um, it's more more the Osvenskan. Yeah. What was obviously you were in Stockholm. What was that like as a city? Was it? Yeah, it's nice. It's a uh, it's a big city. It's, yeah. It's nice. Um, it's diff. It's difficult though as well. Like if because of like the support of culture and all there. When you when you win and you go out, you're treated like a king and stuff. Mm. But you have to be a little bit careful as well if you lose a game, not to not to be seen out or, <laughs> or anything like that. Yeah. Um, because like, you don't want to be disrespecting yeah. them or anything like that. Um, but now when it's when it's going good, it's, it's the best. We had yeah, we had Jake O'Brien who obviously played here a few years ago. He's playing for um, Leon now, mm. and um, yeah, we did the podcast with him and we wanted to like, him to put something out. Yeah. He's like, I can't at the minute because we're bottom of the league and yeah. like the, the ultras will just be honest. Like, yeah. no, you don't understand like in England, you think like. Fan, the fans batter the players yeah. in the club and stuff like that, but, but it's a in other countries, like the extremes that fans go to, it's just it's different in Sweden as well because they have the fifty one percent rule, so like the supporters own yeah. the club, so like they have a big say in, yeah, in so, what goes yeah. on in the football yeah. club and that. Um, so like I said, if you if you lose a couple of games, you don't want to be out partying because then it's like disrespectful to yeah. them. A do you ever have to go and stand in front of them like they do in France? You go not like we've never had done where I've seen like players having to take off the shirts and that. Yeah. But like sometimes you go over after a game you've lost. Like last season we were we had a shocking season. You're near the bottom, so like after every game you go over and clap them. And sometimes they're not happy, but it's never been like I've seen in in other countries where they're like nearly running onto the pitch taking their jerseys. Yeah. To be honest, like the AIK supporters are really good like they'll maybe after, directly after the game maybe if they're angry they'll give you a boo or something mm-hmm. like that yeah. but then straight after they're supporting you again and no, on to the enough. next game to be honest I never I never knew how until doing the research on this how big and passionate the, the no, football was over there if you yeah. can get out to a game I definitely recommend yeah. it it's, one, it's, a, it's yeah. a really good experience you'll have to sort us out yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm sorry I'll take it for myself yeah <laughs> I think it, uh, we should probably talk about Richie as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so obviously we had him here and got promoted. You had, you had him. Yeah. How was he for you? Uh, unbelievable. Yeah. Um, very demanding of yeah. his players. Yeah. Um, not very professional. Knows yeah. what he wants. Yeah. Um, and I got on with him very good. Mm. So obviously, if you got him in a manager, very good. There's always good things to say. So. Um, and obviously we got a promotion together, so yeah. there's only good things to say, really. I always, I always thought personally that he had such a good balance. Mm-hmm. Obviously, he never got too close to a player, but he had that sort of right. I don't know how to describe it, but he still gets involved. Yeah, he still like, he, he has the band yeah, with the players at the yeah. same time. Does he still play in the pilots? 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sharp. Quite stiff, but... <laughs> yeah, he, but you know, he, you know where like the line is, sort of thing. I always fought with him. Yeah, you, what, you always knew where he stood. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he tell, tell you straight away, yeah. which is exactly. what you want in football. Do you know what I mean? Just people just tell you how it is, and, and then obviously like you can just accept it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Rather than yeah. kind of beating around the bush, not knowing where you are, yeah. or to you know if you're yeah. in his plans, if you're not in his plans, or anything like that, he just tell you straight yeah. to your face. And, and even and, on like the day to day at training. You know exactly what's expected, and yeah. if you fall short of that, you know. Yeah, he'd give you a bit, well. yeah. 100%, you know? so yeah. Even even staff, like, so that everyone's levels stay high, mm -hmm. and everyone's always trying to be as good yeah. as they can be. And it, well, obviously, yeah. if you can work with us, it's working at Orient, you know. Yeah. We, we, we learned so much off He was our first manager when we joined, and we learned so much off him, and he was so welcoming to start with, wasn't he? Yeah. No, but we, on a Friday, he come a light, I thought. So he'd obviously train all week and then he'd, gone, he'd go in the middle of the pitch. I don't yeah. know if he did it or he, but he'd be in the middle of the pitch and you'd watch the game on the Saturday and you'd be like, I remember him saying they were going to do yeah, that. Or yeah. I remember you just saw things. It was, it was mental. I thought on a Friday. He was, I no, he, he, is, he is very like, detailed yeah. in what he does. And like say, the research I suppose to him and the analysis team probably do yeah. the yeah. day beforehand. Yeah. Um, is quite like intense, I think. Yeah. He, um, I used to hate like meetings and stuff like yeah. that. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, obviously they have to be done and stuff mm. like that. And then obviously, um, he's probably saw a lot of like pictures said other people yeah. didn't see. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is obviously why he probably got promoted here, got promoted with us. Yeah. Um, still as you said, I mean, now. something's obviously working. So, yeah. um, he yeah. even managed to win Salford their only professional yeah. trophy. In the time he was there yeah. as well, they went at Wembley. Oh, is that the EFL? Yeah, yeah, got the EFL trophy. Mm. Play. Just success. Like, I know, I know and it's tough to win things as well. Yeah. It's it, tough to win things, so um, no, I enjoyed my time yeah. with him there. From the outside looking in, Orient, we, every player we spoke to, it sounds like an unreal club. Like That's what we've always, yeah. everyone that's mm. come here or gone to there has just said it's a top club. Yeah, no, I absolutely loved I was yeah. there for two and a half years. Um, I love this. My missus loved being there. It's such like a family sort of like club, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where yeah. the like people's families are get like looked after and stuff like that as well, which obviously is really important and the players do look out for that as well when they're yeah. signing for clubs Definitely. and stuff Massive. like that. Um, even things like people that work there, like Ada the kit man. That's what I was saying, kit man's well, so important. That's what yeah. I mean he was you know? he's an absolute legend and yeah. obviously he was um there when they were going through like really, really yeah. bad yeah. times. Thirty five years I think. Uh, and then obviously up to and they were obviously getting promoted and yeah. stuff like that, so um, no, it is a great club yeah. um, and I think I got quite lucky in terms of, as I said, like the group I was there with and the yeah. management team that I was there with, um, so I got only good things to say about that club. Yeah. How long well, have you been here? We've, we've, yeah, we started on the same time. week. So. Is there there with the Canyon? <laughs> no. no. Thank God. We, we, listened, we listened to yeah. um, Simon Ferry. Yeah. On yeah. the, yeah, the yeah, podcast, we don't mention other podcasts. No, it's yeah. fine. We can mention other podcasts. Not only because we're the Kenny, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Part of me's glad, but at the same stories. time, it would have been unreal. Like, yeah. mm. but some of the stories there yeah. were absolutely mental. Some of the stories mental. we heard from players that were here with yeah. him as well. Yeah, really, yeah. yeah. But obviously, you can't show. Obviously, yeah. we're not going to discuss <laughs> yeah. that now. Twenty thirty days, days in a row. Yeah, seventy eight. Yeah, that's it, isn't that's it? That's what that's so fair, Yeah, I'd, yeah I don't think that would have been for me. I don't think... No. Yeah, I don't but then you were working under the, the canny. It's we'll probably pros. Ass, so. And we were top of the league and smashing yeah. everyone. It's probably pros and yeah, cons. You can't really complain, then, can you? <laughs> when you win League 2 and then by Christmas you're top of League 1. Yeah. And he's paid a load of canny. Yeah, yeah and exactly. Of canny, and then he was gone. But and then he was gone, yeah. but there you go. Should we um some some kit questions? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do is that it. what that buzzer is for? No, no, no. <laughs> it's just props. No, that's, yeah. that's no idea. the buzzer is for the quiz. Yeah, that'll be oh, used, right, right. used later. But, but go on. Go on, you go. All right. Um, boots. What are you both wearing at the moment? Well, we wear Nike because uh, at AK they have the partnership with Nike. So, oh, okay. So okay. the players, if you don't have a boot deal, you have to wear Nike. Um, Gets oh. his boots for free. That's all right, aren't it? Nice for something, man. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I just, I just went yearly for my PFA, <laughs> <laughs> PFA the pro direct merger to come in so he can use it. Yeah. <laughs> um, they last, I hope they last a season. Oh, uh, I'm, so Nike, so. I'm just Nike Mercurials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think Nike yeah. is the best at the moment. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Boots at the minute, but I always think boots, like 
even five years ago, ten years yeah. ago, so much. Well, the best you keep going back, they get better. I the think. best ever is F fifties. Yeah, F fifties. Do you think? Oh. I never, my foot was too fat to wear them. I couldn't fit into them. Nah. F50s were so were. comfortable. And, I was the old oh. Predators. Yeah. Preds. When I was younger, yeah. yeah. Preds. David Beckham Preds? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Steven, Stevie G's Preds. Nah, David, David Beckham's Preds. Nah, he's Stevie, he's Stevie, 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 Stevie G. David Beckham. David Beckham. Beckham. I'm not a Liverpool fan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. He, I'm not. Um, well, while we're on that, actually, is there anyone either of you two looked up to as you like growing up? Probably Did Stevie G. I think. Really? I'm a Liverpool fan. Yeah. So, and obviously he's probably just the man you look to really. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, big moments, and obviously he's unbelievable. I think he gets in anybody's Premier League eleven all-time team. No. I wouldn't. No. I probably wouldn't debate that. No, I would fair. say there's a case. Yeah. There's a case. There's, there's a, a case. case. Uh, yeah. But he does get in there. Happy to discuss. I wouldn't have any Liverpool players in my team. No. <laughs> I wouldn't either. Alisson? No. no the, honestly, I'll tell him. Over who? Or who are you putting in? Don't say Schmeichel. Czech was better. Schmeichel no, he was wasn't. Better. No, yeah. he's, he's not. Alisson yeah. Alison will go down as the best Premier League keeper of all time. Van der Sar would have a head of him. It's quite... Prime the hair. I think I can think of at least seven to eight there that are probably better than Alison. Yeah. <laughs> list them. Go on, <laughs> list them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe two. <laughs> oh, should we keep winding them up? <laughs> what, about you, what about you, Zach? Is there anyone that you looked up to um, growing up? Obviously, like, as, as Irish and winger, I used to love watching Damien Love play. Mm-hmm. Um, then I don't even, I don't play, like, I, don't even, I wasn't even the same position, but I used to love watching <laughs> Zidane play. Yeah. Oh, what a player. Yeah, what a he's a joke. Player. Oh, what a player. I mean, for my, like, one He's of my the predator big, guy. One of my big memories is watching the 2006 World Cup and it was his last one. And he was just a joke and that. And I was gutted when he got sent off. Oh, oh my God, was, God, that was the worst. I was wasn't gutted. It? I was buzzing that day. Yeah, <laughs> was, yeah. for, such a big, for such a big player, though, the way he moved. The way yeah. he moved was unbelievable. Oh, I, I watched a documentary on him, actually. And there was like 26 cameras mm. or something around the Bernabeu. And they're all just focused on Yeah. It's incredible. Mm. I love him and I love uh, Iniesta as well. Mm. Would well, Zidane have been playing when Henri had balled it in uh, against Ireland? 2006 no. was his last. Henri was 2009. When was that? 2009, 10. Was it? Yeah. We don't mention him. No. Great player yeah. though. Great player. <laughs> no. Don't give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Still hurts for that. Honestly. Yeah. Uh, Shin pads? Nike. What are we, what are we doing? Nikes. Yeah, you got the little ones there. I forgot my, yeah, I forgot my yeah, coming here. At Newport. Yeah. Sadiqo, I think he gave me. Yeah. Sadiqo? Yeah, yeah, Sadiqo. Yeah, 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 What's that? Sadiqo. Yeah, <laughs> I've never heard of Sadiqo. <laughs> you can't remember that. Who you were thinking that's, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, those little had, black things. We had some spare yeah. ones. But they so were like, they yeah, sorted you out. Shin pads were the last thing on my mind. Yeah. It's the best player, actually. That's <laughs> 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 um, Good player. Good player. And you wear long socks, don't you? I do. Yeah, that's yeah. probably the... F- you come up to me at Newport and you were like... Um, have you got any long socks? And I, I just don't get people cutting socks. Yeah. I don't get why. You're cut, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. I've worn, like you wear it when you're younger, you don't cut socks. Mm. It's more comfortable. The sock now, it's just too thick. No, I've grown there's up too, with There's too much sock. No, too much there. sock, yeah. I've grown up with like long socks. Not so. that I know, but... Yeah. <laughs> He's not flary I... enough to yeah. cut his socks just yet. Yeah, I think that was the... Probably not big the... time. I know these are on a budget, so I don't know. <laughs> waste their socks. Oh, don't, don't get us started on that. This year's been the worst. Like, oh my God. people now cut... That's why I'm in shorts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> But um, no, the amount of different holes that people are cutting in socks this year, and then we're trying to watch the game to see who's, who's cut, cut what. Yeah. Oh, he's got two holes, he's got three. I don't yeah. get the, I don't the calf, get the calf one. Yeah. The calf one, I'll never get. Oh, my the calf. say it's to take pressure off a yeah. calf, but... My calf's tight. Unless you have that. Jack Reader's calves, you don't need them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. People Don't saying their calf's tight. Nah. Baby cow's mooing. Who does that on this team? Not oh, saying their calf's tight. I reckon no. there's about 16 pairs of socks. That have been chopped. Get their calves done. Yeah. Who or do you mean chopped here? Who's no, the no, worst? No. The holes in the back. Yeah. Dokes. Dokes? Yeah, but Dokes has big legs. Yeah. He has got, to be fair. Oh, it is one then, G Mac. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. If I speak, I'm in trouble. If I, if I speak, I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's been ridiculous this year. Mm. But yeah, nobody had worn long socks here for maybe three yeah, years until we. Old school. Yeah. yeah. We were buzzing buzzing just because, yeah. like. Because even Zola didn't, did he? No. I know his cuts. Yeah. I thought he'd be an old school head mm. like myself. Yeah, so did I. But I'll have to drop him a message. Yeah. There, there hasn't been many, to be fair. 
it's, it's got worse. First year, there's quite a few, but... Unbelievable. Um, does that wrap that up? Are we ready for the quiz? Yeah. Right, so let's just talk about our sponsors before we go into the quiz. Um, first off, in for free. Um, they are a huge support. They're our principal sponsor. We've got Mad Mash Media, who's currently wandering around behind all these cameras, uh, setting stuff up ready for the quiz, because it's going to be different this week. Um, and he comes in and makes what we do, which is very amateur, look very professional. Um, and then we've got Tithe Grove that sponsored the big quiz. So that leads us nicely into Matt's quiz. And we're going to have these two against us two. Oh. oh. We don't know the questions, so. Yeah, we've usually. got no idea. Matt's how, do we know, how do we know they don't know the questions? No. Has this been said? Usually, or? usually one of us is quiz master, oh, yeah. and then the guest goes against the other one. Because yeah. we, we actually... We'll Done be, quite well in the, yeah, cri yeah, in the we team because uh, we're yeah, a new yeah. part, didn't we? We were leading all the way until we got robbed. We got oh, robbed. God, we could be in trouble there. Yeah. Eh? We got yeah. robbed. We actually did get robbed. <laughs> is it everything or is it just football? Just football, I think. And probably related to you guys or us. Or in some yeah, way. Yeah. In some or way. Or we try and make it as fair as possible. Is well, there a we haven't done anything. Or? Nah, just whoever wins, wins. Whatever. There's no prizes. You're no not confident enough to put a forfeit. There's no forfeit, no prizes. We can come up with our own little forfeit if you want. Uh, we'll make you coffee tomorrow or something okay, if you yeah. can do something like that. Why are you <laughs> offering to make people coffee? Because I'm confident. That's I'm how like, we know yeah. you're yeah. 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 He's my teammate. Because I'm confident. So, yeah, and right. if not, you, you can make us a coffee. Yeah, so. right. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I like right. a cappuccino. Right. I'm a flat white. I'll keep that in mind. Then. I like a flat white. Starb <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we go Starbucks on the way. First round. There's a question to each of you individually. It's how well do you know your club, so it'll be the teams that you've just joined from for you two. It'll be swimming down for you. Yeah. Then the second round is a League Two buzz around. Oh. Four League Two questions. Whoever buzzes in first, the other person can get. And then the final round is a picture round. Okay. Um, Footballers. Yeah, another one, I think. To fate, their, their names linked to League Two people. footballers. Oh, any. We'll be here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready? Are you ready? I'm Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? How many of the current Leighton Orient team have also played for Swindon Town? I know, do you know? Yeah, you know, I know. One. It's not one. It's Hunty, no? Can we steal? Can we steal? You can confirm. Two. <laughs> Sol Bren and Rob Hunt. Is there another one? Oh, no, we've got three, three, three. So yes. it comes back to us. Three. I said it. Now, Who's the other one? I can steal it. Who have we forgotten? Three. If you can name the third player. You can steal it if you can name the third player. Who's the other one? Come on. <laughs> I'm not, oh no, this is so bad. Have we worked with him? Yeah. Oh no. They just said that. Yeah. I can't we, we can agree on extending the time limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think, we're both so thinking. Yeah, we but that's not what you asked. You said how many. You didn't say who. But I always said there's one more when you said three. Yeah, so right. I'd already said three before you said there's <laughs> one more. We can get a on that. Of the current team? Yeah. Current squad, yeah. Just name a player. <sighs> Uh, this is blowing my mind. I think we might. Huh? Unless I've had an absolute shocker. A clue? Is that if a clue? You've got it, you or? have a clue? Do you want position? Or do we get it just because we named two and he's only named oh, one? Oh, I said true. No, no, go on. No, I could say yeah. seven. Clue, <laughs> for a, clue for a buzzer. It's, 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 it's a defender. Come on. Just name a defender. Brandon Cooper. Was he? Oh, Coops! No, I, didn't, I didn't know, he was here to be honest, yeah. Coops! How have we forgotten Coops? And we have and got, we have a, got shirt a shirt as well. Wait, when, when was he? Yeah. Did I get that? He yeah. was on loan two when... seasons ago. Was he? Yeah. How old are you? Yeah, we got so to play against him. Went, went back to yeah. Swansea. Went back to Swansea, he got into Yeah, the one we got playoffs. Didn't know he played. I was never going to get this. Can we get half a point each? Because <laughs> I've got three. <laughs> Yeah, but we named three and you named one. Yeah, no, that's grand, yeah. I didn't know, I was right, never going to get it. Next one, a quick game's a good game. So, <laughs> so Jonas, for you. Yeah. Swindon faced MK Dons this weekend. Who scored the two Swindon goals in the reverse fixture? 
um, Jake Young and Five seconds. Ten, se- ten seconds. Ten seconds, no? Four. Bergen, 15. Three, two. Yeah, come here. Time's up. Who was it? Chaz? Oh, my God. Le- Leon, the yeah. analysis said earlier on, he showed me a clip of him scoring against MK Dons. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was Jake Young, but I can't find him. Can you give us a position? Yeah, give us a clue. All right. Oh, right. <laughs> a defender. Fraser. Oh my God! What? He's oh guessed God. it, man. Oh, it was as well. Right well obviously, end. it was. One one, huh? One one. It was right at the end. It was. To be fair, though, I'm not so sure about this, so that nobody else can have a go. You never remember. Here. One on. It was a consolation. One on. You're taking one of each other's questions. I know. Right. And I've got A I K question. I go. Eichel. Eichel. Yeah. Okay, okay there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so they've retired a shirt number. What number is it, Roy? Kick quiz had to be a shirt question. Yeah, of course. That's way harder than he was scored about five months ago. Well, clearly not, because I didn't. <laughs> 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 Is it number one? Yeah. Tarina <laughs> shirt because he died. No, it's one of the supporters of the club. So ah. number one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Good, good. All right. I was, yeah. If he got it wrong, I was going to go 13 for the supporters of the club. That's so that's 51%, isn't it? Yeah, that's 51%. 12 will be the supporters of the club now. Right, 12. So who, 12. 12. 2 1. Next question. Next <laughs> on, question. Uh, Swindon will face former midfielder Jack Payne on Saturday. Yeah. What was his combined shirt numbers during his time at the club? 28. That's a, that's a joke. <laughs> I printed the yeah, p- shambles. <laughs> <laughs> My question wasn't even a <laughs> question. Oh, was how many Swindon players have played the problem? It's all. Even game. Love it. Right, so this is one the buzzer. No. Oh. These are new lead two related questions. First one. Who's currently leading lead two? Stop. Stop for counting. Yeah. We have it on camera. I think I could have nicked this. No, but he didn't. <laughs> VAR! Have, have, have town in their name. Oh, yeah. um, wait, 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 wait. In the league or in England? No, in League 2. Oh. It's a League 2 question. Two. Three. Two. Three. Um. We've got this on my heart. Huh? Yeah. Three. Oh, oh we go again. Four. <laughs> Just guess in numbers. Five. You can't. You just <laughs> have to guess. <laughs> Shall I go on with five? It is four. Oh, <laughs> Extra points for clubs. I can name three. Yeah. Harrogate Town, Swindon Town, Grimsby Town. We can name the other one. Crawley. Man. Crawley Town. Mansfield. Mansfield. Yeah. One point each. Yeah. <laughs> you can. Yeah. You've two. You've two. We've one. No, we have three. They have two. So we have three. Four two. No, 3-2. Three 3-2. Two. Three two. They got the one, they got the first question right and... Oh yeah, 4-2, so... Four two. Four two. Four two. Right, two teams in League 2 hold the records for the longest time currently spent in League 2. Can you name one oh. of them? Mansfield. Obviously, the other team is Newport. Interesting. Good knowledge. I can taste that flat white. Five <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Last question on League Two. Who are the lowest scorers in the division? Oh, I know no. it. Forest Green? No. I think I know it. Is it Gillingham? That's a lot of 1-0s. load of 1-0s. Early is. doors. They had loads of 1-0s. So you got a clean sweep on that round. Wow. High Six five. two. So that means you have to get every one of these right to tie. And then what happens when the tie is there? There's a breaker, is there? Do it for the content. Do it for the content. Go on, do it for the content. You get an extra thousand views. Oh, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
I'm going to show you pictures. <laughs> They're linked to oh, it's not their Paolo's. names. Oh, yeah. Linked to a celebrity. So you've got to tell me the celebrity. Oh, so it's called Paolo's now. So they link it to so yeah, people. So you've pictures of the footballers. The footballers' names linked to a celebrity. And you've got to give the so celebrity. Like their surname spelled, like read out the celebrity, for example. Oh. Yeah, I understand. I don't understand. So what you're right, once we've done one, you'll you'll be all right. If they need right. that one. First one. Who was that? Yeah. Taylor Swift. Yeah. I gave you the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was someone I with a with knowledge. the name Hawkins. I'm going to Taylor Hawkins. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Swift. Swift. John Swift. John Swift, who used to play here. Exactly. Nice. <laughs> 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 Alright, it's a bit grainy picture, but you should be able to get that. I was going Taylor Hawkins, I was about to Ready. Who are they? Oh, Sam Smith? Wow. Will Smith? Will Smith. They've not paused. Yes. They've not paused. Will Smith. They've not paused. They haven't. They haven't. The rules of the quiz. To be fair, we didn't buzz. He buzzed the table. I, bo I did buzz it. To be fair, uh, he did buzz. <laughs> 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 there it is. We didn't buzz. We didn't buzz. It's the work, it, when I, as soon as I said Smith, you obviously... No, I knew it was Smith. Yeah, I knew it was Michael it's Smith. Michael Smith, he used to play here as well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ready for the next one? What? I don't remember his name. Well, just think of celebrities with the. Tom Cruise. Tony. Uh, <laughs> it's not going to be Cruise. <laughs> it's not going to be Cruise, is it? It's going to be Tony. Tony. It's going to be something Tony. Oh, even Tony. Yeah. Glad you said <laughs> 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 it. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> um, I don't know. Tom Cruise. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, is it? Wow. Is it? Yeah. Tony Cruz. That was what so was it? Cruz. Tom Cruise. That's tedious. He's taking outside the box. 6-5, huh? Who? What's the score? Is this is 6-5. This, this is, is for 6-6. Six, six. Six, six. Six, six. This is massive. This is massive. Ready? Reese Wilson. What? James Wilson. What's the winner? James Martin? James Martin. Who's that? The chef. The chef. Celebrity chef. Can we do double or quits for the title? Yeah, we'll do the thing anyway. Oh, okay. We'll do the what anyway? The, the 13th. Tiebreaker. Tie ah, but obviously, if we get the tiebreaker, obviously, we catapult into the lead. <laughs> this, <laughs> is actually, <laughs> this is our three points. This is our three points. Yeah. What that will all quit? Three points. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is right. the bonus question? Oh, it's a question. It's the nearest oh. two, so you don't need to pass. Oh, okay. Nearest two. Yeah, right. Go whichever order you don't, want. Don't we won anyway. Let's no, just clarify. How oh, many no, goals no. have been scored in League Two so far this season? Oh my God. Christ. I think I'm eighteen. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Think how many people have scored. Can we get a calculator? How many goals are it? No, the, what do you mean? Yeah, but some might have scored 20, yeah, but the average. Don't tell that. You go for us. What would that be? 800. Okay, your guess? Tell me what you Don't say it, tell me first. <laughs> 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 Don't know. 1,000. That's a lot. 1,100. In might, yeah, 20. <laughs> no chance you got that. Really? Spawn. No <laughs> way! What is that? Yeah, Joan is just catching on that he got it exactly right. Yeah! Cappuccino? <laughs> 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 
flat white. We already won. Nah. We won oh, seven five. No, no, I'm, no, no, I'm, no, not, no, I'm not. I'm not playing it. I'm not. I'm not playing it. What? Oh, unbelievable, lads. Oh, it's. That's unbelievable. We haven't asked. Bang on. Bang on. Bang on. I can't well, believe it. Well, we deserve it. That was fun. Do. The pod's been the pressure's unbelievable. I would not. I, I didn't think it would be over. Jonas is still losing his head about the fact that we've lost, but we haven't lost. You have. Even, even then, it's seven six. No, no well, not, that was worth no. three. Three you points. That. We established that. You established that. <laughs> Tell you what, put a poll out and see who won. <laughs> we've got another yeah, poll out yeah. and see who won. <laughs> Surely for the last question, yeah, getting it spot on, you're giving it to me. Giving it I'll give you two, and we can have a draw. So no one gets a coffee. So it's a lose lose. Well, I don't want to lose. Anyway, a anyway, this it. has been brilliant. Oh, Cheers, guys, yeah, for coming on. Thanks. Jonah's still in my ear saying he can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> He's absolutely. Pick how many numbers there are. <laughs> 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 oh, what a way to end. Think of how many numbers there are. Thank Cheers, guys. See you next time. Pleasure. Nice Bye. Time. Bye.